This is the calm after the storm of the 285th Battle of Calm Ave. The Terriers today with the U.S. National Team Development. Deep to the near corner, Savonet. Weak side can be open the way that USA overloads the strong side. Gallagher for Risto and a goal. There you go. Tyler Gallagher, former national team member, scoring against the national program. Still has the record for goals as a defenseman during his time with the national Does team. Does count towards it? <laughs> That's right. Great puck move by the Terriers. We just talked about being a little bit more patient. Got the puck to that. Right to the middle there. Looked like the USA defender, point man coming out the puck, kind of churled a little bit instead of blocking that shot. I think he took the vision away from the goaltender and just beat him top side. Coffin oh, giving these lead. kids a chance to play against all the kids. Oh, snapped the wrister and a goal, and Team USA will tie it up. Somebody lost a stick. Nazar now without a USA. stick. He wants to yeah. jump back in. He does it. He picks the puck up in the offensive zone. Nazar in front and a goal. Wow. Short handed. Short handed. Protects the puck, runs it to Brown. Brown widens out far corner, far point now, handled by McCarthy for Fensori at the near point. Fensori's driving there we slow go. down to go. Master Simone got it back and popped it by Muslik to tie it. Watch the replay here. Watch Fensori at the point. Right there where they want it to go. It was almost a shot that deflected off Fensori's stick. Went off the USA defenseman right back on Fensori's stick. Stop the clearing effort. Oh McCarthy, though, had his pocket pick. Now Gaucher with a jump. Gaucher in and scores a second short-handed goal. So the Terriers are, I guess you could say they're even on the night. They've given up two short-handed goals. They got two power play goals. Who showed some physical presence. Loose puck drive by Gaucher. Hammered save by Abel. Tumble back down. Fensori, oh, he had it picked off. Walking in front and a goal. Fensori, oh. Bad turnover. Tough one there. Hudson. Cashed in. McCarthy for Brown. Brown with a shot and a goal. Great placement there. Matt Brown snapped the wrister. Beats Muslik far side. And we got a one goal game with 2.04 left. Brown picked his head up, saw that far side top shelf and hit it bingo. One of those things that would have broken the plates if they had it in a shooting contest. <laughs> That's right. Well placed. So the Terriers That's within right one. Look, he's, he's got his head up looking for the pass. Realized he had a shooting lane. Gun to 10. Fensori trying to protect that puck. Master Simone oh, could not center it with time winding down. I don't want to lose a game. Um, I thought the U.S. team played well. I thought they were pretty opportunistic. Um, they had some good chances. They had a lot better chances tonight than I think BC did last night. Um, Hard to win a game when you give up two shorthanded goals. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm glad we just got out of it with, uh, with no more injuries. You know, so that that, that was a, that was a big positive. Um, all in all, it's a, it's a it's a bad scheduling game uh, by us a little bit. And I think originally it was supposed to be on Sunday. Uh, the quick turnaround and going from you know an electric night to a building that wasn't that crowded, you know, is is sometimes a tough mental challenge. I thought our guys, tr you know, for the most part, put in an effort, but you know, the the mental side of it was was a little bit lost with some guys. Yeah, I thought there was some good. I thought some guys had some decent nights. Um, it was nice to get guys out there that haven't played quite a bit. I think guys, you know, some guys were sacrificing themselves and some big block shots with Cope and. And Tristan Amante and, and some spots and seeing seeing some guys penalty kill, seeing some guys get on the power play. So it was, it was good to see some guys in a different light. Yeah, they were pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no, they were pretty good. I think we're in a good spot with some of those guys. I thought Abe st stood pretty pretty tall. You know, some of those chances you know were pretty. You know, high opportunity chances. I think the first one was kind of from a weird angle. Maybe he might want that one back, but the other ones, you know, you're talking breakaway and, you know, breakaway and the guy still in a puck out of the corner, you know, so talking really high level chances. He probably wants them, um, but you're talking really, you know, difficult ones uh, where it's just one on one with the, with the guy and the shooter and the goalie. So two on one was the one, the first shorty. The guy picked the stick up off the bench. It was kind of a wild play, 
it was a really impressive play actually to make a play with that. Uh, I don't even know if it was the right hand, but he made a made a really nice play on that. Well, if you were in our video meeting this morning, you, you know, you might have thrown a, on a couple masks. Uh, there's a lot of sickness going around the room. There was guys that didn't play because they were sick and hurt, and those guys that played that were pretty sick. We didn't, if you looked at the lineup, uh, you looked at our, you know, fourth line, we had Copeland and Driscoll playing on that line. We didn't have enough forwards to play. So we're pretty, I said it last night, I didn't really kind of allude to who or, or what, but, you know, we're pretty... We're a pretty beat up group, so the the break's coming at a perfect time. It would have been nice if we didn't have a game today, uh, but obviously scheduling uh, uh, a long time ago and originally supposed to be on Sunday, that one day break might have been a uh, a better. But when it got moved to Saturday, it, w it was it was a tough turnaround and a tough situation for the group. I I like our hockey team. I think we're much improved. Uh, I think we're starting to get some guys back. I think to start the year, you know, beating UConn down there and then coming back here, and I think everyone's pretty excited about the, that situation. Um, and then we get to the next weekend and, you know, get guy down, another guy down, another guy down, and you get to a point where you have eight or nine guys out, and then you start to trickle guys back. And so the, you know, the, the team as a whole got to, you know, our depth was challenged. You know, a lot of guys got to play a lot of minutes. Some guys stepped up. Some guys, you know, proved that they could play more. Some guys proved that they, you know, could be in a role. So um, that was good to see. Uh, I think our improvement from team defense, uh, the pace of our play, um, our special teams, the, the last little bit has been, you know, pretty good. It was we had a good weekend versus UNH. and um, We've had a really good semester penalty killing minus a couple games. Um, a couple of those games, Stevens was not in there for, um, and he's obviously a very good penalty killer. He's very good off face-off. So um, I think we learned a lot about the group. I think we, we've got the ability to, to make a push in the second half. You know, we've played a lot of the teams that are, that are uh, at the top of the league, you know, from a point standpoint, and we've fared pretty well. Um, even with, you know, even last night, you know, you play BC with, you know, Obi's probably our top center, uh, or arguably one of our best forwards. You know, Phillips is one of our best players. So getting those guys back into the lineup uh, and then trying to get into a rhythm as a group um, is going to be important. So the break is, is probably more critical than that uh, right now just to get rested in health, uh, get into good health, um, and, and get over some injuries. And then get into the second half, just you know, trying to pick up where we kind of left off, to, uh, at least the way we were, we were trying to play. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.